गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल संस्कार एजुकेशन हब इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एंगल्स क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन सप्लीमेंट्री एंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स इन टूडे लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मोर एंगल दैट इज वर्टिकल अपोजिट एंगल कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स को इंटीरियर एंगल ओके फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल सो इन वर्टिकल अपोजिट एंगल वट इज द कंडीशन फॉर वेन वर्टिकल अपोजिट एंगल आर फॉर्म ओके सो इफ टू लाइन आर इंटरसेक्टिंग टू ईच अदर ए ओ बी पी ओ क्यू सो इफ टू लाइन आर इंटरसेक्टिंग टू ईच अदर देन Their opposite angles are forming. These are known as vertically opposite angles. Okay. So if two lines are intersecting, then opposite angles are forming. Angle A O P opposite angle is B O Q. Angle A O Q opposite angle is B O P. So these are known as friends vertically opposite angles. Okay. So here angle. A O P and angle B O Q are vertically opposite angle. And second is angle P O B and angle A O Q are also vertically opposite angle. So theorem is. वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल आर इक्वल सो द वैल्यू ऑफ वर्टिकल अपोजिट एंगल आर इक्वल सो हेयर एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ क्यू एंड सेकेंड एंगल पी ओ बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए ओ क्यू एंगल ए ओ पी किसकी इक्वल है बी ओ क्यू एंगल ए ओ क्यू इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी ओ बी सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द वर्टिकल अपोजिट एंगल नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस द स्ट्रेट एंगल स्ट्रेट एंगल ओके सो स्ट्रेट एंगल का मीनिंग क्या होता है द सम ऑफ ऑल एंगल विच आर फॉर्मिंग ऑन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन इज वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री अपोज एयर ए O B is a straight line. On that line, forming here different different angles. First angle is X, second is Y, and third is Z. P Q. So the sum of these all three angles which are forming on a straight line is equal to 180 degree. So angle A O P plus angle P O Q. Plus angle Q O B is equal to क्या होगा 180 degrees. Reason is that because these all angles are forming on a straight line. So X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. So that is about the straight angle. So यहाँ पे क्या concept है students? The sum of all angles which are forming on a straight line is equal to 180. Degree. Next is or next we will discuss the corresponding angle. So when corresponding angles are formed, so the corresponding condition for corresponding angles are these angles are forming only and only in case of parallel. Okay, so these angles. Are forming between parallel lines. So, अगर आपको ये prove करना है, prove that these lines are the parallel lines. So, if you will prove that these corresponding angles are equal, then the lines are also parallel. So now, two parallel lines suppose A, B, C. 
एंड डी एंड वन ट्रांसफर्डर लाइन दैट इज नॉन एज ट्रांसफर्डर लाइन What is transfer line? A line which intersects the two or more than two parallel lines at a different different point. That is known as the transfer line. So this transfer line intersects a different point P. That is Q. Here we will take X and Y. So here different different angles are forming. So first is corresponding angle. So corresponding angles is what we call it. The angle. Which is forming above the parallel line with respect to transverse line, or below the parallel line with respect to transverse line. Okay. So the angle which are forming above the parallel line or below the parallel line. With respect to transversal line is known as the corresponding angle. So we give one, two, three, four. So here angle one and angle two. Next is two angle three and four are corresponding angle. So these are known as corresponding angles. Okay. So corresponding angles are known as the angles which are forming above the parallel line or below the parallel line with respect to the transversal line. These are known as corresponding angles. Now the problem is that value of corresponding angle. Corresponding angles are Always equal. So angle one is equals to angle two. Angle three is equals to angle four. Now, so the values of the corresponding angles, the strengths of the other always equal. Okay. Okay. So we point the co-interior angle. Okay. So co-interior angle. So co-interior from its name suggests co. Common interior inside. So the angle which are forming between the two parallel lines is known as co-interior angle. So here angle two and angle three, both angles are forming between the two parallel lines. So these are known as the co-interior angle. So here angle two and angle three are co-interior angle. Now theorem is sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. Okay, co-interior angles का सम क्या होता है always 180 degree होगा. So co-interior angle का मीनिंग क्या है? Angle two plus angle three is equals to 180 degree. Meaning is that co-interior angles are Supplementary to each other. Okay. Now next we will discuss what is the alternate angle. Next angle is the alternate angle. Okay. So same. What is the sufficient condition to form the alternate angle strengths? Alternate angle sufficient condition क्या होती है? These angles are always forming between two parallel lines. Okay. ये angle बनेंगे ये angle का formation वो कहाँ पे होगा between two parallel lines? And generally is in the shape of Z, in the shape of Z. So these angles are forming generally in the shape of Z. Two parallel lines and one transversal line A, B, C, D. These are the intersection point point O and P and X, Y. Is that transversal line? So this line X Y intersects the line A B and C D at two different points. First point is O and second point is P. So these lines are parallel. Here A B is parallel to C D. Lines are parallel. Now Z Z this angle and this angle both are 
alternate angle because forming a z sec or no these are interior alternate angle and these angles this angle and this angle are also known as alternate angle so this is also forming a z sec so understand so alternate angles are always forming between two parallel lines and generally these angles are in the shape of the z okay z me dekho students kya hai z me lines hai wo always kya hogi parallel if lines are not parallel then alternate angles are not forming so here angle 1 and angle 2 second is angle 3 and angle 4 are alternate angle so these are alternate angle now theorem for alternate angle the values of alternate angle are always equal alternate angles ki value kya hoti always kya hoti students equal hoti hai so angle 1 is equals to angle 2 and angle 3 is equals to angle 4 okay so we discuss here first is the vertically opposite angle then corresponding angle then co interior angle and then alternate angle out of four angle these three angles are forming always between two parallel line agar aapko student ne prove karna hai prove that lines are parallel then how you will prove either you will equate corresponding angles are equal or alternate angles are equal or co interior angle sum is 180 two angles are sum 180 are any kya hoga these angles are co interior angle and always we know that co interior angles are always forming between two parallel lines understand now we will discuss some example find the value of x so friends how we will find out the value of x here we give the name a o b here a o b is a straight line or not straight line so we already discussed that the sum of all angles which are forming on a straight line is equals to 180 degrees okay so here sum of all three angles is equal to kitne hoge 180 degrees you can name p and q so here a o b is a straight line so angle a o b is equals to 180 degrees now angle a o b divided into three angles first angle is p o a p o q then q o b so a o b plus angle p o q plus angle q o b is equals to 180 degrees what is the value of angle a o b x plus 10 p o q x q o b x plus 20 is equals to 180 degree now 3 x plus 30 is equals to 180 degree so from here what is the value of x 3 x is equals to 180 minus 30 x value 150 divided by 3 x value will come 50 degree understand the type of a person that is based on the straight angle or linear figure understand now next question is a given figure if x plus y is equals to w plus z then prove that a o b is a straight line so how we will prove that a o b is a straight line straight line prove karne ke liye kya prove karna hoga either y plus z is equals to 180 degree or z plus w is equals to 180 Okay, we prove that sum of two angle is equals to 180. That means that given line is a straight line. So how we will prove here? X plus y is equals to w plus z. Now here x, y, z, w, that complete angle is forming or not? So sum of all four angles is equals to 360 degree. So angle A O D plus angle B O B plus angle B O C plus angle C O A is equals to 360 degree 
Now what is the value of angle AOD? Z plus W plus X plus Y it equals to 360 degree. Now W plus Z as it is angle. What is the value of X plus Y? X plus Y की value क्या है यहाँ आपको? W plus Z. So X plus Y is replaced by W plus Z. So Z plus W is equals to 360. Z plus Z. तो z w plus w तो w तो z plus two c and z इस तरीके से तो two common z plus w तो z plus two c and z इस तरीके तो what is the value z plus w z plus two c six k divided by two z plus two one eighty now z plus w तो so z plus w क्या होगा that is angle a o d plus angle B O D क्या हो गया आपका 180. Now if you will add angle A O D and angle B O D, then we will get the angle A O B is equal to 180 degree. So A O B is a straight line. Understand? अब वो क्या प्रूफ करना था? A O B is a straight line. So we proved that angle AOB is equal to 180 degree so that is the AOB is the straight line ok so this will be line to stand in a straight line proof karna so how you will prove some of their all angles which are forming on that line is equal to this will come 180 degree then given line is the straight line understand the next question is in your figure line AB is parallel to line CD Angle A, P, Q is 50 degree. Angle P, R, D, 127 degree. Then find the value of X. Okay. So how we will find out the value of X here? A, B is parallel to C, D. So angle A, P, Q is equal to angle P, Q, R. Reason is alternate angle these are forming z shape or not alternate angle so angle a p q value is 50 and x so x value what come 50 degrees x find out here now next how we will find out the value of y let that angle value is 1 ok so that line is a straight line or not so क्या consider करिए आपने angle one तो ये straight line है straight line पे जितने भी angles form होते हैं friends उनका sum क्या होता है 180 so now Q R D is a straight line Q R D क्या है straight line so angle one plus angle P R D is equal to 180 degrees. Angle one will calculate the angle one plus 127 is equal to 180. So angle one value is 180 minus 27. That will come angle one is the 50 degrees. Understand? So this the value of angle one is 50 degrees. A triangle P Q R. This angle we know, this angle we know, then you can find out angle Y using angle sum property. So in triangle P Q R using angle sum property. X plus Y plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degree. X value is calculate correctly here 50 degree plus Y will calculate 1 is 53 is equal to 180. So what is the value? X plus 103 is equal to 180. So what is the value of Y? 180 minus 103 that will come 77. Degree. Understand? So, firstly, we find out here the value of x using the concept of alternate angle. Then we find that angle 1 using the linear pair concept. Then find the value of y. So, today lecture, 
we discuss about the question based on alternate angle based on <coughs> pointier angle corresponding yeah. in next lecture we also discuss some more and complicated question based on that okay thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe and comment on video